So disregard this red mark on my forehead. I'm very prone to mosquito bites and I always get beaten by it. So that is what it is. And I have a few breakouts because my period is coming up and my hormonal breakouts are showing up. That's why they are mostly in my chin. Welcome to my channel. So for today, we're gonna use brushes from Real Techniques and OVW and we're actually gonna test it out and compare them if which one is better. As you know, Real Techniques are more pricier than OVW. So let's get started in this video. So for our base, we're gonna use Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and also Real Techniques Beauty Blender on the other side. So I'm gonna use the brush on this side and Beauty Blender on this side. So for now, I'm gonna use Easy and Co's Active Skin Tint. I usually see makeup gurus place their foundation base on like a palette thing. So I'm just gonna use my hand for this one. And then I'm gonna use the brush and do this and apply it on my face. So, so far, this is what it looks like with one swatch. I feel like it's very, very lightweight. And this brush made blending very easily. As you can see, the brush has the foundation already. And I didn't feel like it absorbed the product. We're gonna go ahead and use the Beauty Blender. So, I usually like to use the middle part. As you can see, this part of my face seems a little bit dewier than this one, which I think is matte. So, I think the best way to put this is that the brush it makes your foundation look like it's airbrush, But on this side, it makes it more natural and really glowy. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. Brow pencil from Dita Cosmetic, but... I'm gonna leave the link down below on why I really don't like this product but I'm just using it again because this is such a waste if I just throw it out. Okay, so now we're gonna use this brush from OVW. This is a spot concealer brush. So we're gonna test it out. It's actually perfect that I got this mosquito bite today and we're gonna test on how this spot concealer brush works. So I'm gonna use Easy & Co's Active Concealer. And we're gonna put one swatch here and this mark here and here and just some here on my chin and we're gonna test on how this brush works it's really the brush is actually really soft and it's really very easy to use so I understand why makeup gurus have been using this brush given that it's really very affordable and it works really nice as you can see i'm not having a hard time blending the products on my face so this is what it looks like i definitely love this brush and highly recommend it so now we're gonna use this contour brush from Real Techniques and we're gonna use the Hula Bronzer. So I've been like really using Real Techniques brush ever since. As you can see, it's really very easy to apply and mostly the product doesn't really stick on the brush. The product really transferred to my face and we're just gonna continue to blend this. And even if I left this for a while, you can still easily blend the powder product. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my fingertips for Get Ready With Me's blush. If you haven't watched my review regarding this, you'll understand why I'm using my fingertips for this. So a little goes a long way. As you can see, I might have put a lot of product here but you can continue to blend it even if 
you put it there. It's really very creamy and velvety, which makes it really, really easy to blend it out. Okay, now we're gonna use this brush from OVW, which is their highlighter brush. As you can see, it's really very thick. And what I noticed with OVW brushes is that when you wash them, some of the hair, like, gets removed. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. I'm just using Lovely Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. I'm just gonna apply some on my nose and on my cheeks. As you can see, this highlighter is really so good. And so far, this brush is really working. And just one swatch, it's really very smooth and really easy to apply. Okay, so for the last brush that I have, it's also from OVW. And it is... A loose powder brush it's really this fluffy brush and it's very thick but just what I said when you wash it the hair gets removed of course you need to wash your brush regularly so that's what I'm scared of but regardless of that everything looks really nice so I'm just gonna use so I'm just gonna use my translucent powder from Laura Mercier so what I do usually is just I get some product and then I just brush it like so. I love this brush plus I use like a really scented soap so it really smells nice and it's very very loose and fluffy and you can see that it really adjusts like while I'm using it it does this. So that's how fluffy this brush is and it makes applying the product really easy because it's so fluffy so these are the brushes from real techniques and what i can say about it is it does its job so well but this is more on the pricier side while this ovw brushes are much affordable but both really works the same i can easily say that this brush makes the application really easy and same goes with this but the problem with this is just as you wash it the hair gets removed but on this one i've been using this brush for years and it's still the same so regardless it's up to you whether you want to invest a pricier product and just still use it for the rest of the years or just use this affordable one and then just change yearly so that's it for my review regarding the brushes i hope you enjoyed and you learned a thing or two bye